New at 6, the Excellence in Pre-Hospital Injury Care, or EPIC, project turned traumatic brain injury training upside down for paramedics and EMTs in Arizona. Now 11,000 of them use this simple procedure, which has doubled survival rates, according to a study report out in May. Ursula Perry tells us about one paramedic who used it to save her own son's life. I thought my son was dead just based on the impact. But Arizona paramedic Alexandria Matthews had her epic training the week before and turned from mom to first responder. By not allowing my son to be hypoxic, as soon as he was in my arms, I started breathing for him. I think plays a huge factor in how he is today. Epic is the first major pre-hospital intervention project for TBI, and it shows that early treatment is critical. To have survival not just changed by 10%, but by 100% increase in survival is really remarkable. The protocol prevents the three H's, hypoxia, hype or low fluid, and hyperventilation. When the light is on, you squeeze the bag. When it is off, you let go. That's the opposite from what's been taught for decades. But the reason uh, why it drops the intracranial pressure is unfortunately it causes constriction of the arteries so that you don't get good flow to the brain when you hyperventilate. Sean Cullany has been training thousands of EMTs and paramedics. When the patient would talk to the surgeon, the surgeon said, this all happened before you got here. This happened pre-hospital. And that's when our guys really started to grab hold of it. Alexandria Matthews believes. My little boy, I get to go home to him every single day. So I want to give the I want to give people the opportunity to do that as well. This EPIC study was granted by the National Institutes of Health grant for $3.6 million. It was so successful that already EMS units around the country are using it. And those here in San Antonio are beginning to adopt it if they haven't already. Ursula Perry, KSAT 12 News.